Yo guys, I'm going to back to another video. So I'll be showing you guys how you can load into Season 1 maps. And now when I say this, I don't mean matchmaking, I do mean like loading in, going around the old maps, even finding some maps that they never added and they were going to add one day. So if you guys do enjoy today's video and you want more videos like this, make sure you do leave a like on the video and you do subscribe to the channel. Now apart from that one guys, let's get straight into the video. So before we do anything, the first thing I want to do is give a quick shout out to Max the other guys for finding out this method on how to do it. And I also want to give a shout out to Larwin for letting us use his private server. So their credits will be in the description, uh, I'll leave Max Twitter and all that, most of you probably know who he is. But apart from that one guys, once again, let's get straight into this video. Alright guys, first thing you do want to do is go into the description, and I will link a few things. The first thing I'll leave is Fortnite Season 1, so this will be the Season 1 installer. The second thing will be this program here, which is called IGCS, um, which is pretty much how we're going to unlock the console and let us do any of this. Now, I do want to say this will only work for Season 1. Uh, someone's already tried for Season 2 and 3, it does not work. I'm guessing Epic kind of understood that it could be an issue, and they upgraded the security, stuff like that. So, once you have installed these programs, there's one more thing you are going to want, and it's called Fiddler. Now, if any of you have ever used a private server before, you probably know what Fiddler is. It's pretty much a HTTP thing uh, for decrypting and all that stuff, and just looking at traffic. So, once you have installed all of them, you're going to want to open up Fiddler. This is going to take a second to load, you want to click no if you have any issues. Uh, you want to sign up to all this, you want to go to file, I mean you want to go to, uh, I'm pretty sure it's under tools, options, and then you want to go to HTTPS and click capture and then decrypt. Once you click OK, you then want to go into your fiddle script or fiddler script, and then you want to open up the and script.txt and copy these right here. Once you've copied that, you can close it, put it in here and click save script. Now all the script does here is it lets you connect to Larwin server, so once again I want to give a shout out to him, thank you for doing this. And now you've done that, all you want to do is you want to download Fortnite Season 1, go into Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite Game and then Binaries, Win64, and now you're going to have this whole folder in here. Now inside of this folder, you should have everything here apart from the launch bat. I will give you this link now as well, I'll put this one in the Discord, or I will put this in the description for you guys to copy. All you want to do is make sure that you have this one here, put under here.exe, as well as all of these launch arguments. This just stops it from detecting a few things like, yes, how would HTTP uh, do stuff and skipping the patch checks, there's no updates. And then once you have done that one, you can just click launch args, and this will pretty much launch uh, season one. Now, without doing the console thing, this is another way of just going into season one, doing a, I guess you could say a private server. So. Once you're in here, you have all of the skins, um, and there's another good thing on itself, so I guess it's kind of two videos in one. But other than that, I'm going to let my game up. You want to go back to Fortnite, go inside of the Season 1 match, and now we'll wait for the game to load up, and I'll be back for you when it is. Alright guys, so when you do get here, you're going to be brought with an email and a password section. Now, honestly, it does not matter what it's typed in here, so I could just do, for example, AquaPlayersYT at, I don't know, Aqua.com. Oh, that's not even aqua. And then you can type any password and click login. No matter what, this should sign you in. And then it should follow you by a little message saying to join um, a Discord server. This is Larwin, so if you want to join his server, feel free to do that one as well. Once you click confirm, click battle royale. And there you go. You're now on, I guess you could say, your private server. Uh, this is everything to do with season one. You have all of your skins. If you go here, uh, the battle bus. It's all of this. Now, if you guys do want to take this one step further and go into a game itself, this is where you're going to need to use the other program. So, if we go into our files and open up IGCS as admin, click yes. Now, you're going to be wrong here. The DOL should be done already, so you shouldn't have to worry about that one. But if you click process to inject, select, and then make sure you do choose this one here, Fortnite uh, client Win64. Click select on that one and then inject DOL. So now this one is done, this will open up, this doesn't matter too much, it shows you a few things on kind of like tutorials on how to use the Unreal console and pretty much this is just Unreal Engine 4's console but unlocked since when they build the game it is disabled. Now, once you're in here I will show you what you guys can do next. Alright guys, so what you want to do is now, the key on your keyboard, I'll show you what it is now on screen, so underneath your escape key, if you click that, if you click it twice, this will open up. You only need to click it once, but I mean clicking it twice could be useful. Now here is where you're going to want to do everything. So if you want to get into the main map itself, so the season 1 map, you want to type in open and then capital A for Athena, underscore and then terrain. I will leave this in the description as well, I'll show you guys in a little bit on how you can open up other maps and where you get the U maps from. And then after that you want to do a AND symbol 
and then do game equals Athena. Now, I'm pretty sure this just sets the game mode to obviously Athena, which is what it's called back then. And then when you click open, click tab again. I mean, not the tab, the key underneath escape. Right, I've messed that one up, so let's try this one more time. You want to type in instead, just do open and then do Athena underscore train. Don't worry about the game mode. Now, this is load up now. We want to give this one a second. I'll speed it up and let it install or load up. Right guys, so what you guys may notice is when the loading comes to 100%, it will be here forever. So, the next step you're going to want to do is click the same icon again, and now you want to type in the toggle, and then debug, and then camera. Now this enables, it's almost like replay mode, so if you ever use replay mode, this is what it's like. This is a little bit laggy, and you probably, I mean, I don't know if it's just my PC and recording, but... I find this does get a 10 bit laggy and the scroll wheel will do your speed so you put it down it goes slower, do it up it goes faster and this is the season 1 map guys. Now I know a lot of you guys will like this as it's nostalgic, I mean if you go over there, um, I can't remember what this place is called, cool. honestly it's been a long time since I played but you got the swamp area, you got flush over there I'm pretty sure, the old spawn island, there's just a lot in here and I find it really cool you can go back here and just view some of the old things that got this game to be big and Loot League, all of these things that we kind of missed today, and when Fortnite was uh, good, it still is good now I guess, but you know, it was a lot better when everyone was a bot and etc, stuff like that. So now what I will show you is how you can load into other UMAPs as well as get back in the lobby. So if you want to click the same icon again, and type in open, and then capital F, and then do front end, so like front and then end, click enter, and this one will take you back to the lobby. Now the lobby will be slightly bugged, but it's not too big a deal, so you want to click close after that one. And now you will be back in your locker. Uh, another cool thing I did find here, if you toggle your debug camera inside of here, so you toggle debug camera, you can move around inside the lobby. And what I never knew is this building here, which I thought was a model, is actually just a, it's a 2D texture, which I find pretty cool. I mean, not, but we kind of been lied to about that one. <laughs> but it's really cool, to be honest, just to see what we see from a different angle. And I mean, what else is in here? I guess you've got this here, and there's some other stuff over here. No idea what that is. I mean, we can go over here if we really wanted to, but there's no need to. And I just find it cool that we can go over here. Now, what I'll do is show you guys once again how you can find some different U maps. So, a lot of you people, or a lot of you guys, have probably heard what U model is. Now, if you do have U model installed, uh, if you don't, I'll put a link to it. Now, once you open up this, if you want to click Override Game Detection, set it to Unreal Engine 4, and then put this to 4.14, and set your game path to be where your Fortnite is installed. So at the moment mine is installed under, I'm pretty sure it's E drive, so I come to the bottom of here, quickly find this one, so we go to E, uh, mine is under Fortnite, now a lot of you guys may ask as well, there's a lot more in here since I was doing some stuff with the game, so when you go into content, ignore all of this, just look for where packs are, it should be really fine, or really easy for you guys to find, click it, and then OK, and I'll click OK again, and now this will load you into the pack files and what you can see. Now a cool thing you can do is if you click uh, flat view and then type in the filter, UMAP, anything inside of here we can go to, anything, save the world. So for example if we click over here, Twine Peaks, we copy the package location, go into here, click the icon, type in open, and then what we want to do is remove the dot UMAP at the end of this one, and then go to the start where zone, and we want to remove everything here until there's just zone output, or outpost, click enter so there's space in between these two. And then click enter. Now this will take us into Twine, I'm pretty sure it is. I uh, haven't been there in a long time, so I'm pretty sure it's this one. Now you want to wait up for this, and then you want to toggle your debug camera again once it's full. So there we go. Now we can do toggle debug camera. And as you guys will now see, we are inside of the Save the World home base. And I mean, I find it cool how we can go to any of these places. And if you play Save the World nowadays, you'll find it's probably changed quite a bit. And for some reason, anything to do with Save the World has this weird music going on. I mean, I find it pretty cool. Uh, after you listen to it for a while, it just sounds like the um, the OG remix, which I find pretty cool as well. But that is pretty much it for today's video. Uh, once again, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It will help me out a lot. I'm going to try to upload as much as I can in December, so make sure you guys also have post notifications on. It will help me a lot, once again. And apart from that, guys, if you did last along to the video, make sure you do comment something like Season 1, honestly. Comment whatever. Let me know what you guys do think about the video. And apart from that, guys, I will see you on the next one.